I'm Dr. Albert Malvehi, also known as Dr. Bain Eraser now, I guess. And what I'm going to be doing is showing an ultrasound of some varicose veins so we can see what the root of the varicose vein is. And then we're going to end up treating it. And we uh, have someone who has some signs of advanced vein disease that I want to show. So if you'll just bring the video camera here a little bit closer. So there are a few different things. Number one, there's obviously visible varicose veins, which are these bumpy and bulging veins uh, in the calf and they sort of have a 3D appearance and they're different from spider veins which are just in the skin. These are a sign that the circulation isn't normal. The other big thing we see here is how dark the skin is between the ankle and the calf. This darkening of the skin which also has sort of a leathery consistency. This is advanced venous stasis and the medical word for that is lipodermatosclerosis. Uh, which means that the skin and the fat have become uh, thickened and hard, and that's because the circulation is not normal here. In this area where it's a little bit lighter is actually pre-ulcerative. The skin is sort of starved for oxygen and nutrients, and so it's breaking down and uh, getting ready to open up with an ulcer. So we're gonna look at this with an ultrasound so, um, to see what the root defect is. So this is just some ultrasound jelly. This is my handy uh, ultrasound and one of the things that we'll see as I put this here, I don't know if you can see this here, is here it is on the skin surface, okay? And what I'll do is, now you can switch back to the screen or maybe you just be out uh, wide. This is the skin surface here. We're looking down deep, okay? This is subcutaneous fat. This is muscle under here and these black areas uh, that sort of seem to move, these are the veins in the legs. And so normal healthy veins, we should see a little bit of blue, a flash of blue when I squeeze, and then nothing after them. What we're seeing is a lot of color here, which is telling me that blood is flowing backwards. It's not flowing the right way. So if you'll just stay in that one spot there, that's perfect. And then as we track up in him through his varicose veins, which are here in the calf, and these are these larger veins right under this stripe of skin that's on the skin surface. These are the varicose veins. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna track up on these varicose veins and just sort of follow them and go up on his leg through where the varicose veins are. And I'm essentially just following these dark stripes to try and identify what the roots of his veins are. So we'll see them uh, here and all I'm doing is tracking his varicose vein up. And what we find is that the varicose veins are actually coming from deeper down in the leg. Okay, so as we follow this deepest root here, we're gonna find that it comes from this deep root here, which we, looks like a normal healthy section of the leg, but it's actually his biggest uh, issue or his biggest problem. So what we're looking at is deep down in the leg, this is a vein, his head is this way, his foot is down this way. This stripe up here is the skin, this is subcutaneous fat and muscle, and this pipe here is the vein. And with a normal vein, we should see a little flash of blue, which is blood flowing up. And what we see instead in him is a lot of red, and what that is is blood flowing backwards, going down the wrong way. So what happens is that every time he stands up, instead of blood circulating up, back up to his heart to be recycled with the lungs, liver, and kidneys, instead the blood flows all the way down to the floor, pulled down by gravity, and then settles in this area and essentially chokes off the rest of the healthy circulation in the legs, causing trouble. So this is the root cause of varicose veins.